is up everybody kev gret is here and it's a great saturday here in new jersey so i figured let's let's play some silver strike before the day gets going and let's show my new cabinet purchase off to everybody in the chat and everybody that's interested in what these type of games look like so let me know how i sound in the chat if anybody's there and let's just play some silver strike so um, if you didn't see my video yesterday, I just kind of went over the purchase that I got, which was this cabinet right here. And it's a combination cabinet of Silver Strike, Power Putt, and Target Toss, and Bags. And basically, it's all of the Incredible technology games, with the exception of Golden Tee, which I have right here. You can probably see it. So I have now two pedestals with all the games. Morning, my family. What is going on, my friend? Let me know if I sound okay. I'm actually using a wireless microphone that the Rexer Show um, sent me a link for. I think he put it on his channel, too. It's awesome. So now I don't have to be tethered to a microphone when I'm playing these games, because Rexer and I play Golden Tea on Twitch regularly, or we try to. So I just want to get some coffee and play some Silver Strike. If you have any questions in the chat, I'll go along and kind of talk about Silver Strike. There's uh, a bunch of game modes in here. In fact, let me just, let's just get it up there. And so here it is right here. I'm in the corner, and uh, let's get the sound up and play some Silver Strike. All right, so I'm going to play every game mode that this cabinet has, and there are four game modes. Let me show you. So let me know if you can hear that sound. I'm trying to uh, make sure you can hear that. In fact, let me turn it up a little bit more. There we go. So here are the four game modes that Silver Strike offers. And the first one is Classic Bowling. And the next one is called Vegas Bowling. This is a really fun mode. Um, and what's interesting about this mode is that not every Silver Strike cabinet has this mode because the operator of the machine would have to go into the settings and turn it on because it it's almost a gambling method. And I'll show you that game mode in a second. The next, the next one is spare challenge where they randomly put a spare up on the stream on the screen and you have to knock it down. And the last one is flash bowling. All right. Cabs away too low. All right. Let's get that cab up. All right. And flash bowling is the last one. And that's basically where a, a score flashes on the screen. And when you hit it, the where the score stops, you get the points. But let's get into a game and, and try this thing out. All right. We're going to do classic bowling first. You get three different lanes to choose from. We'll do each lane. All right. So you have options here. Let's go in. So you have options just like in Golden Tee to customize your bowler. You can be a lefty, righter, righty, gender, face, shirt, bottoms, headwear. Now they're not as risque as they are in Golden Tee. You're not going to get thongs and stuff like that like in Golden Tee. But in fact, I think most of these are just stolen from Golden Tee. So... Here's the options here. Nothing crazy. Let's 
pick the bottoms and see what we can get. Actually, you know, they're a little risque, but nothing crazy. Let's do that. Headwear. Uh, let's see if we can get some headwear. <laughs> All right, now it's play. So how it works, you move the trackball, if you can see my hand, and you just pull back and pull forward. And if you see on the screen that hand that's simulating it, you can curve the ball in various directions as well. And how to move your bowler, you just move the trackball left and right. And if you wanna look overhead to see where you are on the dots, you can just do this and line it up. So I'm still learning the curves. I'm still learning some of the hooks. So let's see. Let's see how we can do here today. Looking for some accuracy. Oh. Heads up with a bad rap. Uh oh, it's the five pin taboo. Don't choke. So you have commentary there. Hopefully you heard that. I turned the cabinet up pretty loud. And so I'm just gonna pick up this head pin here, hopefully. There we go. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Let's. See. Uh oh. Good shot. Oh man. Same same shot as last time. So again, if you hit one of these cameras here, the overhead, you can line up your shot so that you can get it right on the line. And there we go. Uh oh. So once a game, there's a red pin bonus. If you knock this down, you get extra, extra points. Let's see if I can get this. Ah, oh, missed it. Missed it, missed it. That should be fairly easy. Right. There we go. Yeah, my family, if you have a couple of people around the house, like my wife will not go near Golden Tea, but she will play Silver Strike, no problem, because it's just basically a pullback, pull forward. Bowling is fun. It's These games are quick, as you see. It's simple. It's just fun for everybody. Ah. Oh. And there's something satisfying about just pulling back and just ramming the, uh, the track ball. It, I'm telling you, there's no better feeling, especially if you, if you get a strike. Let's see if I can kick this pin out and get this spare. Hypersonic. Oh, <laughs> missed it. It's pinpoint time. Wow. I'm really hooking these guys here. I gotta. There we go. Oh, come on. Should be able to pick this up. She delivers. Hey, nice conversion on that one. Hold it at the line. Ah, missed it. That's seven. Let's see if she can get this fair. I think I can kick it here. Let's see. That one's got a ah, yeah. That was a nice kick there. All right, let's see. Obviously, the goal is to get a perfect 300, which is probably impossible in a game like this. Whips it down the lane. Oh, come on. She 
So two Fast and the Furious cabinets, I believe, will cost you 1200 with tax. So I paid less than that. And uh, this is a full pedestal. It's I'm not going to lie, my family. This was a pain in the butt to get in my house. This is this is not part of this is not garbage arcade one up stuff. So you're you're getting a full, you know, arcade cabinet here that is built to last the test of time. So I'm not going to lie. It was a struggle to get it in by myself. There we go. There we go. Got my first strike. Yeah, so um, once you get it in your house and set it up, you are good. So this is outputted HDMI right to my TV. So I'm just standing in front of my TV on a 42-inch. There is no side issues, anything you get on those garbage one-ups. Now, obviously, the one-ups are slightly cheaper, but I'm telling you now, this this is something Watch that... Uh-oh. So you only have a certain amount of time to shoot your ball. I can change that in the settings, which I will, but for now. There we go. Two in a row. Nice. All right, I'm going for a turkey, guys. If you get three strikes in a row in bowling, it's called a turkey. And let's see. Oh, man. I, oh, man, did I ruin that. Got it. <clears throat> One sixty seven, not bad, not good. All right, so that is classic bowling. So that's just trying to get the three hundred, ten for a strike, doubles the next shot, a spare will double your first shot. So now the other game modes are variations on that. And the next mode I'm going to play is Vegas Bowling. So Vegas Bowling is basically, um, and I'm going to play two people so you can see how it works. But the goal in Vegas Bowling is to get a spare or a strike. Every time you get a spare or a strike, you get a card. And the idea is to build up a, a, a card set. A card set. Ah, let me go back. The idea is to build up a card set. So you get two pair, three of a kind, and at the end it compares it, and I believe it gets you points for that. So Vegas Bowling, again, wasn't an option. And on some people's cabinets that own these, because there's numerous ways to get these legally, illegally, and so some, some cabinets do not have this option. And the reason they don't have this option is because the operator that owned this machine and had the chip inside had to have turned this on and connect it to the IT servers. So whoever owned this cabinet or owned this version of Silver Strike, I was lucky enough that they turned this on. So now um, I can play Vegas Bowling. So that's what we're going to do next. You can't go online because this version of Silver Strike is no longer supported. Um, it was in the, you know, you can still find it in the arcades, but you it never was really online. It's meant to be a party game. Um, for home use and for the arcades. How amazing would it be if you could play this with multiple people online? It would be really sick. I don't... Let's go to the second lane, Metro. So it's going to tell you here, uh, let's do, I'll do one male, one female, so we can see the difference here. And I can change the ball. If you look at the bottom right, I'm cycling through the balls. Let's change the guy. I don't know. Let's, let's do that. Now, you see in the top left, it says 
one card is dealt for every spare or strike. So let's see how many hands we can build with this. Boom. Come on. Ah. Oh. That is not good. So the only thing I can hope for here is to kick out one of those, kick out the pin and see if it can get over. This is almost impossible. Ah. Oh. I almost kicked it. Did you see that? Almost kicked it. Let's do a female. Hot pink. Let's pick her clothing. All right, let's just roll. I almost had that spare. Got it. Now watch, I'm going to get a card here. So, so now that's the seven of clubs. So there's your, if you play two players or more, it shows the card after each frame. Player ready to go. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh. You need to work even harder to convert that split into a spare. So now I'm going to have to kick, kick the head pin there. Uh, oh, I might get it. Might get it. Oh! <laughs> All right. Now, this is a game that Arcade 1UP obviously has been trying to get on their machines, but it, they can't get it to run. I mean, I have a computer in here. Um, so they would have to up their game to get this. Ooh, I got a pair. Yeah, this is this is an Uncle Bobby character, huh? So I need to get some I need to get some cards so we can see how this card system works. And I believe you can also turn on if you're an operator that you can buy a card for like a quarter if you want it to. Come on. Uh oh. Don't choke. Don't choke. Got it. Come on. Now I'm going to get a card finally. Oh, that looks good. Come on, get it. There we go. And there's also different camera angles. So there's my card hands. There's also different camera angles on this game with your button. So I'm going to hit a button after this, and you're going to see the ball, um, the camera change. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice pickup. That was pretty, pretty tough shot there. There we go. This this, this character is on fire today. Boom. Now she'll get another card. Oh, wait, where's her card? Okay, she got a five of hearts. So this guy needs to catch up. He doesn't have a lot of cards. Can it be right here? No. 
Oh. So I plan to do, uh, you know, different streams on these games so you can so you can see them. Not a lot of people have access to these games or can see them. You can't just kind of go buy them in a store. So I'll do Silver Strike, and then I'll do the other ones as well. No way that ball's gonna stray off the there we go. Damn. Wait, I got three strikes there. I didn't. Oh, I'm in Vegas. But I didn't say I got a. I didn't get my turkey. Ah, you know it's not going to work. <clears throat> there we go. Easy pickup. Oh, I got a, I got a pair now. Oh, here's the red pin challenge. Once a game, you get this opportunity. Get a lot of points for a strike. Now, I believe if I was, um, I could turn on a mode where you gamble here. I think for fifty cents. And if you get the strike, you get 50 cents. Let's, 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 I'm going to knock this down. Come on. Oh, oh, missed it. Hollywood, what's up? Hollywood Polo, my, uh, my night was good. I'm just, uh, figured I'd get up early and do a little stream of showing off my new cabinet purchase. Boom, nice. Oh, I got two pair now. All right, I'm getting my butt kicked <laughs> by that one, by the first. Oh, here's the red pin for this character. Let's see if I can get it. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to get it. Ah. Oh, Hollywood, you know, what's funny. Uh, Rexer had this cabinet, so he had a version of this with all the games in it and he recently parted with it. But, and then I picked this up and we were supposed to do bowling, but he's going to get it back eventually. And we will be doing bowling like we do golden tea. There we go. Oh. Uh -oh, five-pin taboo. Five takes the approach. He's trying to the pins. Come on. <laughs> This guy can't catch a break. I got to kick it now. Let's see if I can. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, get it. Yeah, that was a nice shot there. Watch the kick. Boom. That was pretty good, actually. Got it. Man, this, this having a... Having a good game here with this character. All right, almost done here. Let's see. I need a. I need another card here. I need a jack to beat that. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! And I'm telling you, this game is so much fun, and I'm getting my wife into it now so I can have some competition. Ah, <clears throat> oh, come on. I need a better card than that. Like 
Alright, I gotta pick this up. Got it. Come on. Alright, like going into the last frame. I need another card. This guy's this guy's gotta pick up this guy needs a strike here. Come on. Ah, oh, full. Ah. Oh. Yeah, no. Got it. Ah, oh, bad card. All right. All right, here we go. One shot left. First strike. Come on. Ah. Oh. 162 and one pair. <laughs> she doesn't do that good, my family, because she doesn't, she's afraid to hit this thing. She hits it like a one up. You got to like, she's getting into it, but eventually she'll hit it harder. Like when I pull back on this thing, I, I, I ram it like golden tea. Now there are, um, operator settings in here that you can turn on that will um, make it a fault if you hit it too hard, but it's not on here. So I can jam this thing like I'm playing golden tea. Got it. Nice shot. There we go. Oh, look at that. Mm. I'm having a good game here. So I'm so I'm easing her into, you know, how to play the game and how to, you know, you don't have to take it gentle with this stuff. All right, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going for the three right here. Oh, it, it curved. No. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that. I got a flush. I got lucky on that strike. You normally don't get that when you hit the head pin. Look at that. Right through. The red pin just kicked the seven pin right out. All right. Here we go. Big finish. This could be my highest game I've scored yet. All right. Come on. I'm going to nail this. Oh. There we go. That's, 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 a respectable, uh, that's a respectable score right there. I'll take that. And there's, and look at the flush. See, isn't that cool how you can play the game inside of the game? And again, not every, uh, go, not every silver strike has it. So that is the second mode, and the third mode, I believe, is the spare challenge. So this mode's pretty cool. This, this mode's cool because they randomly just give you uh, a setup and you have to knock it down. So they'll get, so this is your second shot on every one, but, the, but it, it's different. So this is really fun because it's unpredictable. And, I, and I've been really having some fun playing this particular mode. I'm not good at it because some of these setups they give you is real tricky. All right. See some of these setups. Uh, so some. So sometimes the head pin isn't the pin you want. Let's see. Uh, see? Oh, not even close. <laughs> That's why this mode is is pretty fun because it's unpredictable. And if you look in the top right, it tells you what the pins you have. So I'd have the one, five, eight, and nine. Ah, oh, I missed it. So let's try. I don't know. That last shot, I slipped. 
Oh. All right, here we go. The two and the eight. Oh, I'm choking on this mode, but I'm starting to really enjoy this uh, little version of the game. There's some sick horsepower. Oh. They set up some tricky shots. Just can't. Oh, I need a kick here. Ah. Oh. Um, you can actually emulate. Like so. So I'm playing this right now through a computer. Um, uh, I think it's a Nighthawk system they call it, and it's this is basically dedicated for Silver Strike. Um, you can easily emulate this, but the, you need the hard drive. So these games operate on hard drives and chips, and you need everything in conjunction. That's why it's so hard to get these emulated correctly. There we go. So... So how, how it works normally is that these games operate on what's called security chips and cabinet IDs, and they ping back and forth with the hard drive, and they and they unlocks the games. I might not be saying it 100% right, but that's, that's the hardest part about this, making sure you have the chips that will unlock the games on the hard drive. Pulling out all the stocks. Ah. Oh. No, so well, technically, you know, the, these ROMs are on hard drives. I wish I can pull one out and show you. And the hard drives are inside of the system. Now you can clone the hard drive, but it's it's hard to clone the actual ROMs because they just won't play well. Like coin ops can't play this, and it's very hard to emulate this um, because of the way the games are set up. And that's why, like Arcade One Up, you know, if you remember a couple years ago, everyone's like Golden. Go they got a golden tea and a silver strike cabinet. Well, more more people knew than not that you that wasn't going to happen, you know. And if you look at the golden tea that they have, that golden tea is is nineties. It's just garbage, you know. I love golden tea, but I can't play those versions more than four and a half minutes, you know. Which is why I have a real one next to me. Um, so silver strike and golden tea. In fact, there there's a video. Uh, by Retro Ralph, where he actually took a cat, an arcade one up, and put a computer in there with Silver Strike with Golden T. And if you go check out that video, you'll see how much work it was to get that done. And he had a computer, so and at the end, it's not worth it, you know. In those little one ups with a with a small trackball, um, it's meant to be played like this in a in a cabinet setting because when you ram your hand and you do that up motion. I'm telling you, you're going to ram your hand more than not into those tiny screens. And what's great about this is obviously you can see I, I have no nothing you know near me so I can cock back and play. So let's do one more game of this flash bowling. And let's explain this mode. Let's here, I'll turn this up and explain it in a second. Let's just pick that. So at the top of the screen, you see those numbers flashing. So those numbers, when I when I hit the pins um, or get, a, I think, a strike or a spare, the number that it stops on will add to my flash score, which is in the top left. Yeah, you can't play Golden T90s. It is so bad. Um, I bought the one-up cabinet. Um, and I, I sold that thing and I got the real thing. I mean, it's it's so nostalgic, but it's like 40 seconds worth of nostalgia. So I'm, the goal is to hit the 100 if you see those flashing lights. So let's see. Let's see how good I can do here. It's pinpoint time. She leaves the seven pin. This should be an easy pickup. 
So you need to, so it's flashed. If you notice, it says it's flashed on 20. So I believe that's the score you're going to get if I pick up the seven uh, spare. Yep. Yep, so you see the 20 up there. So the first shot, if you get a strike, it'll give you the points. If not, it'll freeze, and then that's the points you'll get on the pickup. So let's let's the goal the goal is to get it on the hundred, the eighty, the sixty. But I, for some reason, I can't get anything close to that. I'm trying to time it. Oh, I got it on eighty. All right, look at that. This will be an easy conversion. She's got some speed. Oh, forty. Oh, it. So I got the forty. All right, red pin bonus time. I'm going to get a strike one of these times on it. Oh, man, I knew that wasn't going to work. So it looks like it halves the score on your second shot. So I had 80, now it's on 40. All right. Straighter is greater. Come on. And so this is just one of the games in this cabinet. I also have power putt, target toss, and bags. Yeah. But to me, this is the this is the marquee game in this cabinet, Silver Strike. It's probably more popular, you know, the most popular title in this cabinet. Power putt's okay. Bags is okay. Target toss is okay. They're all good. But this is the one that everybody gravitates towards after Golden T. Oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Let's see if I can kick this. Come on. Get it. Oh. <laughs> I kicked it. it. I just didn't get the bounce. Nothing nothing you can do there. <laughs> What's up, Brooklyn? Hope your morning's going well. We're just shooting some silver strike. Showing off my new cabinet purchase. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I screwed. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I screwed. I don't know what that was. I screwed that one up. Let's make it up with a strike here. There we go. Woo. Ah. Oh. Couldn't get the kick. She rockets one down the lane. That's seven. Yeah, Brooks. Brooklyn, it, this, I've been having so much fun with, with Silver Strike and the other games in this cabinet. There's nothing more satisfying than pulling that trackball back. <laughs> Get it. All right. She's looking for another All right, last shot on this. Come on. Get it. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh, it's my 10th. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I thought it was the. All right, now it's my last shot. Let's end out on a strike. Let's end out on a strike. Come on. She's giving it all she's got for the speed. Get it. Oh, I got ripped off. Come on. Hey, nice score. One more one up, 
I think Brooklyn. I think Brooklyn's a vampire. All right, let's do one last game of just regular bowling, and then we'll we'll wrap it up. All right. Here we go. One last game real quick here. Was that a golf ball? Let's do the golf ball. How many ball? Oh, the baseball. Let's choose my ball. I swear there was a golf ball in here. There we go. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, I never really noticed this. You can change your hooks. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, you can put multiple balls in your arsenal for different shots. Okay. Wow. Just learning all that stuff. I. That's why at the bottom there, She's got a new trick up her sleeve. you can switch your balls. Okay. Yeah, Brooklyn, I should be able to play some VR tonight. Um, my wife's out right now, and I don't think we're doing anything tonight. So, All right, one... Come on, I'm gonna get a 200 this game. Oh, come on, get it. There we go. <clears throat> okay, let's get this. I got it, come on. Ah. Oh. Oh. Five pin taboo. Don't choke. Don't choke. I choked. No, oh, I choked. Do you need the bumpers up? <laughs> I choked. He said, Don't choke. She's using a tiny hook on the top. Ah, don't choke. Oh, come on. <laughs> I choked again. Hey, I'm not cursing on this stream. I only curse after midnight, my fam, and on uh, walkabout. This lady can really muscle up. Oh, I'm, about to, I'm about to start cursing. This is my worst game in a long time. There's some horsepower. Come on, get it. Get it. Oh. Oh, ready to go. She First ball. All right, halfway done. I won't even break a hundred at this at this point. Curve, curve. Oh, get it. There you go. Can't deny me on that one. Mm. That was some good pin action on that. That ball whipped them all up. Now I got to get two more. Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, got that nice kick there at the end there. All right, here we go. Can I get the turkey? Come on. No. Oh. Just a slight bit off. Come on. I couldn't get the I couldn't do that shot any better. I just needed the kick. Oh, 
<clears throat> All right, last frame, guys. Last frame. Come on, kick it. Oh. I certainly got robbed there. All right, here we go. Last shot. There we go. Come on. There we go. End it. End it on a strike. Yeah, so um, when I first got this, my my I was hitting my hand on this rubber on this metal thing. But since I put the rubber in, like when I just played for these forty five minutes, I never hit the rubber piece. So I think what's happening is I'm just getting used to my to my form on how to do the trackball, and then you don't hit the rubber piece, but it's there just in case um, other people hit it and hit their hand. So yeah, today I didn't hit it once and you seen how hard I was ramming that thing. I was doing it pretty, you know, pretty hard since this is a cut down cabinet. What, what was here, there was, you know, this cabinet kept going up in the air and it was a screen here. So the concept is to cut it at the screen and then you cut it at the screen and then you make the computer have the HDMI out. So you don't need the screen. And then you, uh, make the back and you taper the back off. So that's what they did here. And it's fairly common to, to see these cut downs in people's homes because this, the big screen with the monitor, it adds another hundred pounds to these things. This thing's already a couple hundred pounds. And then you add that screen. So you cut it down, you make it HDMI out, and now you have a full size pedis a modified pedestal. Again, this goes, if I wanted this version that you see on the screen with all the games, it'd be $4,500. So I just got me a nice version for, um, you know, 12, 1300 bucks. And uh, I put, a, I put, I put 50 bucks or so into cleaning it up, painting it on the sides, painting it on the bottom. And, and that's, you know, that's it. So it is going to sit here forever, right in my cats. This is sort of my room that I don't use on this side of the house. It's really for my cats. If you see in the background, uh, there's two of them sleeping right there. I don't know if you can hear it. Actually, let me put me up. We can cut the screen off. All right. So there's my cats over there sleeping. That's their, this is their sleep time. They'll sleep like that for like eight hours till they want some food. There's two of them side by side there. And this is where it's going to be. My golden tea is now set up next to it. So I have my cabinet here. I have my golden tea here. And the one TV, I just slide back and forth when I want to play. And so I, this, is like, this is like a mini arcade right here because you have your four games here. You have your golden tea with 100 plus courses here. And it's amazing. My wife and I go into the other room. We have a whole other spare, like a room where we watch TV and we and we hang out there. So this room is literally for the cats and when I come in and play. So I've been I've been in here a lot lately playing. Um, so I plan to do more streams. I'm going to do a power putt stream, a bag stream, and a target toss stream. So you can see these games. I figured I'd start with Silver Strike because that's the one that everybody loves next to Golden Tea. So I know next week's the holiday. I don't, uh, I'm actually flying to Nashville on Friday morning. I won't be back till July 4th on the 4th. We're doing a quick getaway with my wife. We are heading to Nashville to hang out, eat barbecue, drink some, drink some beer. And we are seeing two concerts while we're in Nashville. We are going to see Kid Rock on Saturday, the 1st, and then on the third, we are going to see Matchbox 20 all at the Bridgestone Arena in Nashville. So we're going to have a good holiday weekend. I hope everybody has something lined up for their holiday weekend next week. So uh, I'll probably stream the week after on a Saturday or maybe I'll grab some time during the week. Everyone streams now. So you literally have to 
get out your calculator and an Excel spreadsheet to see where you can slide your stream in. It's kind of crazy, right? So that's today. I appreciate whoever's in the chat, my family, Brooklyn, Polo. I appreciate anybody that stops, stops by. These streams are basically just to show different things in the community that you might not, you know, regularly see with Golden Tea and Silver Strike being, you know, some of them. Yeah, they're two different concerts, aren't they? My family, you're going to Kid Rock and then you're going to Matchbox 20. We were just by chance lucky to see that Matchbox was coming in town. They rescheduled their concert three times because of COVID. And so when we were like, hey, let's just, you know, head to Nashville, do a quick getaway. We we're like, oh, Kid Rock's in town. Then I was like, oh, damn, Matchbox is in town the next day. So we were like, let's go. So we got tickets for both of those shows and, um, you know, we figured why not? So we got a cat sitter for the cats. We're going to check it out. I've seen Kid Rock, I think, back when Joe C was alive in the late 90s, early 2000s, when he was just hitting. I've seen him at an amphitheater with like 50,000 people. Um, and this Bridgestone Arena is pretty large as well. I think I think that's a I think that's sold out. Matchbox is not quite sold out, but it, it might be. So I've, I've been to Nashville once before, uh, a year before the pandemic, and uh, it's a great town. You know, we're going to stay right on Broadway this town, this time, literally like a block from the arena. So we're going to be able to just hang out, walk the honky tonks, four days so, and two days are concerts. So it's a quick, it's a quick in, quick out, have some fun and then uh, get back to work the next week. So I hope everybody has, you know, good plans lined up for next week and, and we'll be able to enjoy the holiday. But that's pretty much what I have today. Brooklyn, my family, we will be uh, hopefully playing some VR tonight on Brooklyn Menace's channel. Check out Brooklyn Menace. Um, and we will be in VR, probably walkabout. I know there has been some new games out, but I don't know if it's four players so we can get in there. We always have fun in walkabout. Uh, my family, you know, he curses a lot. I don't know what his problem is. He has he has kids, man. I don't know why he's in there cursing all the time. I'm in there just trying to have a good time, read my Bible. And he comes in. So if, if you like lewd language, you might not because, you know, my family. I don't know, man. You got to really. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm the idiot. It always starts off nice. I always start off well. And then five holes in, I'm just slamming my damn VR putter over my head because these shots are insane. Uh, I, I, I don't understand this damn game. I, I need to play more of it. But it's such a good time. The shots don't matter. You just get in there with your buddies, Brooklyn, and my family. And I think we had Mike Mike Hertz come in a few weeks ago. So if you want to join tonight, whoever's watching, come on in. The room code is shill. We always have a good time. And that might be starting at 9 o'clock tonight. So have a good rest of your day. I'm going to go get my workout in. i got to run my four miles before the rain comes here in New Jersey. And then I got to start cleaning my house for the cat sitter because we are leaving in four days, five days for Nashville. So have a good day, everybody. Thank you so much for pretty much wasting an hour with me. I didn't realize I went that long. I was only going to do a half an hour, but time flies when you're rolling bowling. So talk to everybody later. Thanks again. See ya.